hi welcome back to rebecca's travels or if you're watching my lifestyle channel welcome back to rebecca's lifestyle oh hi um i hope everybody is okay and as well as possible and um, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so and a big thumbs up and thank you for doing so and uh, thank you for um all the new subscribers that i've subscribe to my channel i really appreciate it uh, today i'm going to be doing a budget travel um destinations uh, special 2024 um i've um written down um some of the destinations um around the world um, and europe according to indie traveler Dot co and you can go onto that website if you want to uh, find any more of the destinations um but um i've pulled out uh, five for today so um number one i'm going to kick off with vietnam it remains easily one of the cheapest asian countries um to uh, visit and travel to while it's not the best postcard perfect beaches um consider the philippines or indonesia instead if you want an instagrammable or perfect um postcard beaches um but um it does um have um, really good and um reasonably priced food nature and cultural sites uh, to go and see and visit um so again if you want really good food nature and cultural sites then vietnam again um remains one of the cheapest asian countries to go and visit number two el salvador el salvador's uh, crime rate has dropped um putting it almost on par with the usa which is really good news and um, this has um granted the bite-sized country and um, i see it uh, before world gets out status with uh, backpackers and budget travelers blazing the trail from super well from surfer beaches to epic volcanoes and charming colonial town el salvador has uh, some great sites uh, while having uh, some of the lowest costs in central america so if you're looking for a central american country to visit to uh, that has uh, dropped its crime rate has um lowered has some of the lowest costs um so, uh, go surfing on beaches at uh, seeing uh, volcanoes and seeing charming colonial town then also for a door is uh, the country for you to visit a, a really good country for you to visit uh, number three um is albania uh, which is in europe um it may well be the cheapest destination in europe and um, it's still early days for tourism in the balkan country uh, though um some are already calling it the next croatia it's um may be lacking in development but it's unspoiled coastline and quirky capital and uh, well preserved ottoman era towns and the impressive alps is uh, again well worth um, a visit um again if you're looking for um not necessarily uh, the most say well uh, built up and let's say a uh, uh, country for uh, sheer entertainment but um, you're looking for more unspoiled coastline quirky castles and well-preserved ottoman era uh, towns and 
impressive Alps. And um, then again, Albania, again, is a really good uh, country to put on your list to um, consider vi visiting. And again, it may be the cheapest destination in Europe. Uh, number four, um, Thailand, uh, the famous tourist uh, uh, friendly Thailand is um, mostly known for its islands and beaches which uh, can be decent value if you know where to go but the best prices make your way um, to the northern Chirang Maya region and you'll um, be in budget travel heaven admit um, there's rice fields at their buddhi or um, in the country, um, Buddhist temples and um, hill tribes. Uh, you can find some of the best accommodation anywhere in the country. So again, if you're uh, looking uh, to see rice fields and Buddhist temples and say hill tribes, um, then um, as well as... Um, at, at lovely beaches then again Thailand again could be an, a really a good value place in Asia to explore and last but not at least on my list is number five um, which is um, Romania's Transylvania region uh, consider it a cute a medieval uh, towns and um, ancient for fortified churches and my mighty Carpathian mountain range. It's a uh, perfect uh, for a spring summer trip, but also e equally enchanting, uh, enchanting in the winter, which uh, with a uh, low cost ski resorts and snow covered castles. So yes, uh, Transylvania, Romanian. Uh, Romania looks uh, really be uh, beautiful and really impressive with all the hillsides and uh, fortified churches, Carpathian mountains and uh, castles um, to see. And again, um, it doesn't matter whether you go in the, the spring or summer or in the winter, you'll still have um, a very nice um trip um obviously if you're looking for warmer weather then a uh, spring or summer trip would be better if uh, you uh, like the cold weather then um uh, go uh, go to the resort in the winter um especially if you uh, love seeing or see uh, covered uh, castles so I would like to say thank you for watching and um I'll see you to tomorrow for a luxury travel special. Thank you and bye for now. Thank you. Bye.